Carling here with the wondrous, illustrious, butiferous darling data. Everything but cruciferous. We do not, we do not aid, aid in digestion. We are not a fibrous vegetable in the least. Um, we're going to talk about in t today, uh, continuing in the same vein as some of the other videos that uh, we've recorded recently, or that I've recorded recently. There is no we in darling data. It's just me alone doing darling data things. Uh, we're going to talk about how you can get more detail about the queries that come back in the default output for SP Quickie Store. So what we have uh, is a parameter called expert mode. And what expert mode will do is return a whole bunch of result sets to you that it would not have made sense to put in the default output because it would have been information overload. And this is really only stuff that you want to dig into when you start dealing with other problems, deeper problems with queries. Uh, if I had put this in the default output, it would mostly go unnoticed. It would, you would have a scroll bar with a, with a slider like this big, and you would scroll for a country mile until you lose your hand in a, in a green screen, and uh, it wouldn't be enjoyable for anyone. I promise. It would not be enjoyable in the least. All right. So uh, when we use this parameter and we say expert mode, please, uh, I'm going to get back some results that you might not get back because some of these results only show up in SQL Server 2022 because SQL Server 2022 had a bunch of new um, DMVs, diagnostic management views, or whatever you want to call them, added to the query store family of views that help you figure out other stuff. Um, so you, we have the default output up here. All right. Uh, down here, we show, or I show rather, um, if there is any feedback happening uh, via uh, different various intelligent query processing features passed on to uh, passed on to uh, the the optimizer from Query Store. So uh, in this one, that right now we only have some memory grant feedback. So SQL Server is adjusting the size of memory grants between runs. Uh, we can get some information about the feedback data here, which is kind of nice to have if you want to dig into exactly what the feedback is telling uh, the optimizer to do. Uh, we see here if the feedback is good or bad. Right? It could say feedback valid, could say feedback invalid. And then we have the um, created and last update times. Now, there are a couple uh, DMVs that are included in the, out in the results that right now I don't have any data for. So there's the query store hints uh, DMV. So if you apply any hints to queries via query store, which is a new feature, 2022, pretty cool. Actually, I think I, think I love this feature because I can finally fix entity framework queries. <laughs> uh, so this is a good one. Uh, and then there's also the query store query variant. Uh, view and if you have queries that are getting parameter sensitive plan optimization feedback those results would show up in here uh, down a little bit lower are results that you will see in uh, most any um, most any uh, version of SQL Server as long as it has query store in it uh, and that is going to be uh, stuff around compilation stats so compilation stats is going to tell you about everything that happened during query compilation. Uh, how, many times, how many times it compiled, how long the compilation took, uh, memory uh, bind and all this other crazy stuff. You can kind of understand why this is not part of the default output, but it but is, uh, kind of, can be kind of important stuff to, to look at if you're dealing with, say, long compile times, other stuff like that. Now... This is one of those bum out things that I, I, I've talked about in other videos. Um, <clears throat> Query store does not store memory grant information uh, the same way that the plan cache does. Query store only tells you how much memory a query actually consumed when it ran. It does not tell you what the full memory grant was, so there's no way for you to say, oh, you asked for 30 gigs of memory, but you used 30 like 30 gigs of memory and you only used like two megs of memory so maybe we ought to fix something in there there's perhaps 
some poor cardinality estimation happening in there, perhaps uh, some parameter sniffing issue. Who knows? Could be anything. So for this, unfortunately, there's nothing in my plan cache. So I can't tell you all these other juicy details because the plan cache is a horrible place. It's volatile. It clears frequently. I don't know what happened to it. I didn't change anything because my plan cache was gone. Real sad story. Uh, there's some other stuff which I actually think, which I'm actually, I actually think is pretty cool, uh, is um, getting weight stats back uh, for specific queries. So this section in here will tell you uh, per plan ID what the top weights were. So in here we have a lot of parallelism in CPU. Uh, that's probably going to be the story across most of these things. Now, uh, one thing that I, I do want to point out, uh, and I'm going I'm, I'm to probably skip over this because this is just the, the total, total weights for all queries. And then uh, the next one down is uh, your query, current query store settings. So this will tell you like whatever, you know, however you configured query store, all the configuration options will be in here. So one thing I want to point out is that query store weight stats, the stuff you see here is aggregated. Like there's a weight category called parallelism. We don't know if it, if it was CX consumer, CX packet, CX sync port, CX whatever. We don't know what it was in there. We only have a parallelism grouping. So if we go to the help section, down at the bottom, there is a little decoder ring for which weights are included in each one of those categories. Uh, I may need to... Um, I may need to update this a little bit for 2022. I think I think I checked in on that the last time I did an update on this, but uh, I'm gonna now that now that I've now that I'm looking at it, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out again to make sure I did my work right. So in here is where you'll see the types of weights that are included in each one of those. So if you have a question or you're unsure about what weights might be involved when you see them show up in the weight section then this is the place to look because this will have this will tell you uh, which weights are included in all of the rollups. So that's just a quick way to get more detail about uh, the queries that you find in the top 10 in query store. Um, there, it can be very useful for troubleshooting uh, deeper issues with a query, getting more information back about uh, queries, especially if the plan cache is not being a, a useless sack of potatoes. Um, so there you go. Anyway, uh, good video. Good video all around. Didn't cough once. It's been zero days since I didn't cough in a video. And uh, I, guess, I guess, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to record one more on Quickie Store. I have to, have to decide what it's going to be on. It's going to be a surprise to everyone, myself included. If I could, if I could tell the future, I would, I would tell you what it was going to be about. But <coughs> <coughs> I had to say something, didn't I? Anyway. Like, subscribe, um, send me cough drops, <laughs> something. Um, seasonal allergies. It's, it's a terrible time of year here in New York. Anyway, uh, that's enough of me. Uh, I'm going to go figure out what to do next, and I'll record that video, and I'll upload that video, and you'll watch that video, and you'll like that video, and you'll subscribe to my channel, because even if you mute me, and you just want to like turn this into a weird OnlyFans thing, I don't mind. I don't mind. That's that's how much I love you. I don't I don't mind what you turn this experience into. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. <clears throat> I hope my allergies go away. I hope for many things. I hope someone signs a contract for a million dollars. You know, just manifest things into our lives. All right. Uh, see you next time.